Okay, I'm going to bring your attention to this game here. It's called Dragon Box Numbers. Uh, you'll see underneath it just said DB Numbers. I'm going to go into this game, and it's a great game for learning counting, addition, subtraction. Um, but we're going to go into an account that's already made. It'll be, there's quite a few different ways you can play a game. And there's like a ladder, yeah, and a ladder, but we're going to go into the puzzles here. There's many levels, but I'm going to jump a little ahead to this level here, and I'm going to go into um, the number one. So in this game, you get Hooray! these little guys here. I don't actually know what to call them. We'll give them like counters, essentially. And you can kind of take out a whole bunch of them, and the idea is to try to fill the spots here. And you have to try to fill in depending on how many counters go into each spot. So right away, I can see I have three counters at the bottom. Um, could even put it in the middle here or something like that. But I want to fill in what looks like it's going to be the number one. So I'm going to try to um, put in the purple one here. And you'll see once you do that, you get that space. That's great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put the purple one in the space below. And if you take a look, it looks like it's just not big enough. I'll let go and see. And it doesn't take it. So in order to do that, I need to make a larger counter. And what we can do is we can combine these. So I have two at the bottom, and when I put one over the other, it grows. Okay. The same concept, I can actually take away. Two minus one, one. And so it said two minus one. I don't think you hear what it says. But it said two minus one is one, and when I put them together, one plus one is two. Um, so we're going to take the two uh -huh. here. I'm going to drag it up, and it looks like it's fitting. Wonderful. That worked out great. Um, I very quickly pulled out two again. Um, let's try to put it where the red one is here. So if you take a look, I'm gonna put the red one in and it looks like I'm just short, okay? So many times a student may go, okay, I got two, one plus and then I have one, another one, two. So one, two, three, put them all together, hey. And it kind of looks, if you take a look at the eyes of the, I guess you could call them a monster, they really let you know what each of these counters represent. So the purple one has one eye. When I put it together, the yellow has two. You know what? I'm going to put in the third one. Two so three plus right one, right three. Right and you'll notice it's just a little too big. So we're going to three swipe minus away. two, one. And the two, and two, one. 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 So you'll notice the counters are no longer coming as the purple guys, they're coming as the yellow guys, which represent two. So exact same concept. Uh, concept. Um, so, oh, I dropped one and I didn't even mean to do that. Let's say I have two here. Some students may decide I have two sets of two, so I go one, two, three, four. Oh, that one jumped on two. Didn't that or some students might recognize they already have two, and if we put two more, two, three, four. Two together, plus two, four. four. And you'll see it gets four eyes. So there's like visuals to let you know. Um, dropped it. It's a little big. We'll subtract. Hey, the color yeah, match is really nice. Three, and because this yeah. is one of the easier levels, these counters kind of fit in really, really nicely. Now, when I could get into some adding here. Two oh, plus two, four. Two plus two is four, but then I know that's too big. So if I subtract one four more. Four minus one, three. three and... Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Game. The game's 16,401. Instead of using those counters all the way through, let's do a letter. Let's see the letter. Ah, you'll see here, this becomes a little harder. First of all, I got counters that are twos and ones, so I have to put some stuff together. Okay, I knew I have a four. And I can put a two and one together. Let's go to an even harder level, because I want to show you how we get away from the counters essentially. Here we go, and we know now we get numeric counters. So, this. Right here, five plus five, five ten. There's ten, and if I drop it over the ten, it fills up a large space. So it goes from these um, pictures of these little guys and then into space to actual plus symbols one, of two. numbers. And then we know we have to associate the abstraction that that number two is represented by this little counter two. Okay, so that's the idea behind this Dragon Box numbers game.